my Lord. In your court carry on against my opponents. Fight those who are fighting me. Arm yourself, seize both shield and buckler, and rise up in my support. Make ready the spear, and block their path, and shout your challenge to those pursuing me. Declare to me, I am your help. I am your deliverance. Let those seeking to take my life be put to shame. Let them be humiliated. Let those planning my misfortune, well, let them be turned back. Let them be mortified and let them flee. Let them become like the chaff before the wind, with the angel of the Lord, who is the wind, pushing them all the way. Let their path become dark, confusing, and slippery, with the angel of the Lord, who is the wind, pursuing them on their way. For without cause they secretly set a trap for me with their net. Without cause they dug and concealed a pit for me. Let ruin come upon them without their being aware of its approach and the net which they secretly set. Let it entrap them. Let them fall into it, to their ruin. And my soul will shout with exultation in my Lord. It will rejoice in His help, in His deliverance. All of my being, the very core, of who I am, will say, My Lord, who is like you, delivering the weak and the afflicted from the one who is too strong for him, delivering the weak and the one in need from the one who is robbing him. False witnesses appear in court and testify against me. They cross-examine me concerning things about which I know nothing. In exchange for good, they have rewarded me with evil. To me, this has been like being bereft of a child. But as for me, when they were sick, my garment was sackcloth, the garment of sorrow. I humbled myself with fasting, and when my prayers came back unanswered, well, I behaved like a friend, like they were one of my brothers. Like unto the mourning of a mother, I bowed low in self-neglect, mourning for them. But when I stumbled, they gathered together and rejoiced. They became strangers whom I did not know, and they tore me to pieces with their words. 
and they will not be silent. They are profane and godless court jesters, ones who gnash at me with their teeth. My Lord, for how long will you idly watch? Restore my life from their roaring deceptions, from these virile young lions. Rescue my suffering soul. I will worshipfully praise you in the great congregation, the one assembled to worship you. With that people, mighty in number, I will praise you. Do not let my fraudulent enemies maliciously rejoice over me, nor let those who hate me without a cause wink their eye at me in mockery. For they speak not of peace and friendship. No, rather they scheme and plan matters which are full of fraud and deceit against those living peaceably and quietly in the land. And they opened their mouths wide against me, saying, Aha! Aha! Our eyes have seen it. But, my Lord, it is you who have seen. Do not be deaf to what they are saying. Do not be silent. My Lord, do not be distant from me. Arise and put things in motion. Awaken your purpose to judge my case, my God and my Lord. Awaken your purpose towards settling my dispute. My Lord, my God, pass judgment for me according to your honesty, your loyalty, your knowledge of what is right. Do not let them maliciously rejoice over me. Do not let them say in their hearts, Aha! Just what our souls have long desired. Do not let them say, We have engulfed and ruined him. Let all those who rejoice at my misfortune and distress be put to shame. Let them be ashamed of what they have done. Let all those who do great wrongs against me, who try to elevate their significance by being against me, let them be clothed in shame and public disgrace. But let all those who take delight in justice being done for me, let them give a ringing shout of jubilation. Let them rejoice and let them continuously say, Great is our Lord, the one who takes delight in the peace and well-being of his servant.
and my tongue will proclaim your loyalty, your justness, your righteousness. All day, every day, it will sing your praise.